Load the monolith into the last insert slot after all other processing. Select the source for that track. When the preset loads, it will automatically create the groups needed for that preset. If another monolith preset utilizes an already created group, then you must select the group manually in the group windows. Once you are finished setting up all of your monoliths, return your song to its start point and begin playback. Then press Learn for all channels, and every monolith in the session will begin learning its track. When the song has finished playing, press Mix for all channels, and the monoliths will automatically level themselves. Return your song to its start and begin playback. If you wish to move an element further forward or further backwards in the mix, use the Level Plane Fader to do this by selecting either the Plus Minus 2 Plane, the Foreground, or the Background Positions. If two elements are playing the same part, such as double track guitars, and they sit too loudly in the mix, decrease both of their levels by 3 dB using the Minus 1 Plane on the Level Plane Fader. This will place their combined sonic energy back on their intended level plane. You can lock an applied gain setting by clicking the lock located to the right of the applied gain window. If you like, you can also set your DAW's fader to the applied gain setting and reset the applied gain with the Reset Applied Gain tab in your preset directory's drop-down menu. You can then lock the applied gain to 0 dB and mix with your DAW's faders while still utilizing the infinite duck expand groups in your monoliths. It is good practice to level all of your individual elements before leveling your reverbs, delays, etc. with additional monoliths. It's also best to send all elements to their prospective stereo buses right from the start. That way, you can mix the stereo buses with additional monoliths as you're working. This will allow you to always know exactly how your final mix is sounding while you work. The monoliths have infinite group capabilities. Groups can easily be created by typing the name you want for that group into the group window, then pressing Enter on your computer's keyboard. To delete a group, simply delete the name of the group and press Enter on your computer's keyboard. If any other monolith in the session is still utilizing a group, that group cannot be deleted until no other monolith is using it. The Duck Expand feature on the monolith utilizes a hard limit approach so that the amount of ducking or expansion required is exactly what you'll get. This allows for elements to be automatically moved backwards to a lower level plane or pushed forward to a higher level plane by any element in the mix without the need for extra automation programming. Always remember, there are infinite duck expand groups, so feel free to get creative. You can use the infinite mute groups to easily clean up your mix and create interesting automated mute effects. The Mix Monolith is the perfect complement to IIX Hyper EQ Ceilings of Sound Pro. Simply place Ceilings of Sound Pro before a monolith. You'll be able to experiment with different ceiling presets or shapes, while hearing exactly how your conformed EQ sits in the mix utilizing the Learn Mix for this channel on the monolith. However you use the Mix Monolith, you will find that the mix process has become faster, easier, and more fun than ever before. Happy mixing!